Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me on Outdoors with Sam. Today I am en route to Zealandia, an urban eco sanctuary here in Wellington, where I'm going to be doing the Great Kereru Count, the final countdown. The Great Kereru Count is a citizen science project that's New Zealand wide and runs every year in September here in the spring. And basically it's an effort to collect as much data on kereru or New Zealand wood pigeons is their other name to see how their populations are doing throughout Aotearoa. Today's mission is simple. I've got 30 minutes to count as many kereru as I possibly can and to inspire y'all to get outside and count some kereru yourself during this week. And at the end of the video I'll show you how to upload data to iNaturalist so that it can be used by conservationists to protect kereru. So I thought I'd go to Zealandia today because I want maximum entertainment for y'all and Zealandia has maximum kereru. But just to be clear, you definitely don't have to go to somewhere like Zealandia to do the kereru count. You can do it um, in your neighbourhood, in your park, while you're walking to work, while you're walking the dog, basically wherever. You can do the great kereru count by doing timed surveys from between 5 to 30 minutes, uh, like I'm doing today, or you can just upload random observations that you take of kereru wherever you are um, during the week and upload them to the database. Timing will start as soon as I'm through that gate. So let's get ready. Not a minute to lose. So I did this count last year and last year I got, I think it was six in 30 minutes. So let's see if we can beat that score today. So tactic wise, false alarm, tactic wise, look for trees that kereru like. Trees with fruit, trees with flowers. The other tricky thing about them is they don't actually make a lot of noise. They make a gentle sort of cool, cool. which is pretty cute. There's nothing to really give them away. Unless, of course, you frighten them off and then they make that <laughs> Then you know you've seen one. Kedudu sighted. First one, first one almost walked right past it. You're not gonna believe this camouflage, y'all. Did I wake you up? I'm sorry, you know, he looks grumpy. How's this for camouflage, folks? Oh, you are stunning. Congratulations, you're number one in my kereru count. How does it feel? The great thing about looking for kereru at this time of year as well is that it's the beginning of their breeding season. So you might see something amazing. When I did this count last year, I got to see like the whole courtship display. They puff up their chest and they do a little dance where they bob up and down. And, uh, and I even got to see them do the dirty as well. So you never know what you're gonna see. Kedudu sighted. Another, just as I suspected, just as I suspected, down in the uh, in the broom. Quite a small one, this one. Okay, so we're two kedudu down. Sixteen minutes on the clock. So just while we're walking and looking for our kedudu, why should we care about them? They're big. They're beautiful, they're our only endemic species of pigeon. They make me laugh. They have a reputation for being the town drunk, but that does not discredit their beautiful personality. They've given me some really, really amazing moments in nature. I remember one time I decided to test my eyes with Thornberry skills, and there was a kereru outside my house, and I just stood there going, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> And it actually did it back and I nearly fell over. I was so freaking excited. So I just really want everybody in Aotearoa and, and anybody that's visiting our beautiful country to have like a special moment with a kereru because I do feel like their personalities just add so much. And unfortunately, the sad thing is, is that kereru aren't as abundant as they used to be. One of the main issues for them is just habitat loss. They're a really big bird and so they need a lot of fruit and because of all the deforestation that's happened in New Zealand, up to 80% of our native forests um, that were previously here are gone. And so there's just not really enough food for them anymore. And they'll only breed when it's a good fruiting year. So you can see the problem. Not to mention the brush tail possum, which seems to have taken a Mr. Monopoly stance on New Zealand, consuming 
the same weight of native forest every night as the Auckland Sky Tower. Now that's just excessive. And then there's also the additional problem of uh, predators as well, things like cats, rats and stoats, which can eat kiddoo on the nest and their chicks and their eggs as well. Not good. I mean, look at that face. We can't let these precious souls die. We've got to help them. So we're at eight minutes 40. Kiddoo sighted. We've been blessed. Blessed by a double whammy. Two in one tree. Hello. And okay, top tip for kiddoo counting. Just take your time, go slow, because I could have walked past all four of these guys if I hadn't been paying close attention. Okay, less than one minute on the clock. 46, 45, 44. Come on, one more. Just give us one more. One more. Where are the kiddoo, Wobel? Where are they? Bloody birds keeping all the secrets to themselves. Kiddoo sighted. We found number five. Just got tipped off by that lot over there. Did you see the big fat pigeon chuck in the tree? That's another tip. Rely on the others around you to tell you. Did you see the kiddoo over there? Congratulations, number five. Welcome to the count. Two, one, bam. And that's a wrap, five kiddoo in 30 minutes. Did I beat last year's score of six? No. But is it really about how many kiddoo you count? What else did we gain today? We got to go for a nice walk. We got to see some beautiful pigeons. And most importantly, we got to help with kiddoo conservation by adding our data into the data set. Even if you get zero, that's still good data. All right, let's submit this data. So this is super easy to do. You can do it on your phone or you can do it on your computer or wherever. So all you need to do is go to the Great Kiddoo Count website. And right on the home page, there's a nice big button for you to press to go add your Kedadoo count. So you can do this um, on the website here, or if you're more keen to put it into a larger database, you can put it onto the iNaturalist um, database as well. They've got their own separate project for the Kedadoo count. But if you want to keep it nice and simple, just head to the website. So the first thing it's going to ask you is where you were. So we're going to go Zealandia. We had five different kedadu in our account, so I would just do one submission per kedadu unless, uh, like with the example, we had two kedadu in one, in one tree, I'll put that as um, two. So I'm going to end up doing four different submissions in total. So it's going to ask us when did we see the kedadu, so what day and what time roughly, number of kedadu, one. So it's going to ask if it was a time survey or an impromptu record. So if you did a time survey of between 5 to 30 minutes in a certain area, you can choose that option. Or if you were just out and about, you can just put it in as a instant record. So we're going to go time to survey and we spent about 3 minutes observing. 0 to 5 metres away, we were walking. Where was the kiddoo when you first saw it? Perched in a tree. We were in a urban setting and in the forest. Then it's going to ask you if the kedadu was feeding on anything. So it's a great idea to take a photo of the bird while you're out there as well and then you can come back to the photo and try and identify what kind of tree it was in. And if you're on iNaturalist you can use iNaturalist to uh, identify the tree as well. All you need to do is take a photo of the tree and it'll tell you which species it is. So ours wasn't feeding. No flight displays, which is what they do to show off to potential partners. How frequently have you seen them at this location before? Regularly. And this is an important one. In your opinion, have kedadu become more abundant, less abundant, or stayed about the same in this area over the past three years? Then it gives you the option to choose some files, some photos to upload, and it's done. Submit observation. And that's it. Pretty easy, eh? All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it's encouraged you to get out and do the great kedadu count and contribute to this awesome citizen science project. This is the last year that you can do it, so I really encourage you to get involved. If you liked the video, feel free to like it and share it with your friends, and let's get as many people as possible uh, contributing to this year's great kedadu count. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! 
Hey, well done on reaching the end screen. Can I interest you in some more? We got giant snails, we got seals. What can I get you? Yes, excellent choice. 